What's up, guys? Welcome back to Robux Talk. Today, I'm going to look at the big man in the middle. Not Vita Bea, but number 96, a newcomer to the Buccaneers, Greg Gaines. Uh, he came over from the Rams, a uh, very under, I guess, under the radar signing by the Buccaneers, and a former Washington teammate of Vita Bea. Just checking him out against probably one of the best centers, if not the best center in the league, Jason Kelsey here. See in the middle of your screen, plays a lot of nose tackle. Just going right up against him, pushing him, leveraging, and realizing, okay, it's not a run. It's going to be a quick pass. I'm going to have to get after this quarterback. I like a little push and then pull. Kelsey thinks he's going to get power. Down to the ground he goes, just face first into the into the dirt, and Greg Gaines right there to rush the pass, which could have been a big conversion if he has a little bit more time. But just check out how he does this. I mean, this is a subtle, savvy veteran move. Just a little bit of push. Oh, he's bringing power. He's starting to lean back a little bit. And then that's when Greg Gaines times it perfectly well, leverages, pulls that foot down, leverages into it, gets around him. Running back doesn't want anything to deal with that. Good pressure on the quarterback prevents a massive play for the Eagles. Keep going on. Here he is against a bigger guy. He's not the biggest guy. He's like six foot, six one, but he knows how to use his tools. He doesn't have long arms at all. And look who he's going against here eventually. This guy is massive. I think he's like six, six foot eight. But check his hand usage here, his consistent effort. And watch him swim over this. His arm's got that outside shoulder, right? Watch him with his inside arm swim over that arm, push it down, maintain it down, and then get low and dip and rip under this. Look at that. That's a hold in my opinion, but still, I mean, the guy didn't even see it. Stops him, holds him up, and he ends up getting another QB hit just before. Look what happened right there. That was a touchdown pass. Game of inches, they call it, right? That's, that's literally a game of inches. Big touchdown for the Eagles, but Greg Gaines was right there. And he's more of a guy that's known for his run stopping, just being able to, to leverage himself up there and hold the line. But check him out here, like giving a subtle, I'm going to go outside and watch him set this up. The second the guy starts to lean, he's starting to go over there a little bit, watch his foot plant into the ground, and he gets up field inside into his face and then swims over, gets that arm, the inside arm of that uh, offensive lineman down, swims over quickly, then gets low and starts pushing up field, trying to knock that down that pass. This is stuff where, We've always been mentioning Logan Hall, but stay after that swim move, get over that outside arm or the inside arm and then stay low and get after it. Yeah, the arms up are always a good thing. If you can't get there, at least try and knock down that ball. But we keep going on. Greg Gaines, a lot of good stuff from him. Again, over the nose, over the center, just getting after Kelsey here. A little dip rip here. Noticing hand usage. Look at him trying to keep his arm off his chest plate. Kelsey's really damn good, so he ends up getting it, but he doesn't stop. He continuously fights. Realizes Kelsey was so committed to game my chest that he's giving up the outside positioning right there. So he goes and attacks it. It's that dip rip going. Kelsey has to start reaching, starts to try and push at that hip. We always talk about that. Once an offensive lineman loses it, he tries to have to go after something. He can't get a hold, right? He's going after that hip, trying to push him out of the play. But Greg Gain con continues upfield to try and get after uh, Hertz over here. Almost gets another QB hit, but he's right there in the pocket. He's pushing the pocket. He's forcing the issue. And that's something where really it's only been Vita Vea doing it. Cansey was there for what, 12 plays? No one else has really been doing it, especially this guy, which I know we I've talked so heavily about. It's just, it's like a one move wonder and it's not really working right now. But this is where he is best to me, like in the running game. So his knowledge of understanding leverages, kind of going with the play, keeping his eyes in the backfield, where what hole is this guy going to go into? Reading it well, keeping his hands on the inside plate of that offensive lineman. Even though he has short arms, he's understanding hand placement, realizes, okay, my, my help's here. If this guy's going to cut it back. I'm going to swim over and get after him. I like this. I like very, very heady veteran move. Just doing your job. That's all we ask for. I mean, especially in defense, it's all assignment based. Just know what you're supposed to be doing. Again, eyes where? In the backfield. He feels his help coming into that gap. Let me make sure I'm staying here to close off any backside. Disengage. Look at this. Even though he's being blocked, they understood what was going on, disengage, and get in after the tackle. You got to love that. Like, that's understanding what he's supposed to do, down and distance, short yardage, okay, get off that block, make a tackle. I love that rep by him on that one. And then here, hey, a little bit sometimes because he is undersized, undersized, he gets pushed out of the play a little bit. But still, leveraging, pushing that chest play out, staying within the play. Yeah, that could have been a big gainer if uh, Antoine Winfield doesn't make this from the outside here get on a shoestring tackle, but it's not all on him. Like that, you got to go together with the defense. I don't know where Mike Green's going over here. He's going upfield. Yeah, that, that was going to be a big hole if Antoine Winfield doesn't get there. So 
I mean, that's one part of his game where you, you can't fix that. Height, length, you're, you're not going to fix that. So, he, like you see here, Landon Dickerson, big, massive guy out of Alabama. This is the size to push him off his spot. He's trying. He's putting that back foot down to try and leverage and anchor down. But sometimes the size will take advantage. But with this also, man your gaps, guys. You have Levante and you have Devin White. Which linebacker should have hit that hole? Because that is a massive one. Devin White kind of shades over a little too early, leaving that hole, but then recovers and gets after it. I'm not going to get that mad at Devin White, who's playing with a growing injury. He looked damn well early on, and then it was hampering him late. But, I mean, this is some of the good stuff that I wanted to mention about Greg Gaines. I think it's a really good addition by the Buccaneers. I think it's going to play a big role moving forward in the, in the season. But, guys, let me know what you think about Greg Gaines. Do you think he's a good addition? Do you not think it was? Do you want someone else? Let us know down in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't just yet. Like the video. Help support the channel. And with that said, until the next one.